Oh, oh, look at this. I think I have, like, AI collisions off. <laughs> Doesn't matter. <laughs> You're still colliding with my shells. <laughs> Hey folks, it's Pat here. Welcome back to uh, episode number 12 of our playthrough of War on the Sea with our Japanese campaign. And honestly, after the last fight, I don't know exactly how much <laughs> left we have to do here. Um, we could play the entire series all the way through to the victory screen, but quite honestly, after knocking out both American carriers in this campaign and... Um, you know, I mean, they still got some guys here on uh, Tulagi and a couple guys here on Guadalcanal. Um, but really, when it comes down to it, I think the campaign, um, both sides would have to think about this a little bit. And one of you, Brian, actually in particular pointed this out in the comments, whereas the last battle was like really pivotal to the entire series and... I, I, I do agree with his assessment on that one. <laughs> that we've had our major carrier fight, uh, but, you know, we're going to do a little bit of mopping up here, and we're going to see what the Americans can actually do um, to punch back on us. Uh, so here we are. We're on the 17th of August, 1942. Um, the Americans have suffered a substantial defeat on... Uh, their uh, entire fleet. <laughs> and so, <laughs> yeah, last time we left with uh, one Hornet class, or I mean, well, actually, this might be the Hornet. I'm not quite sure. Let's see the other one. Where was it? This actually might give us which ships actually were lost here. So yeah, the Americans have lost the Enterprise and they've lost the Hornet. And so they have no carriers left. And so that last battle did cost them the Hornet. Um, so they're down 485,000 tons. <laughs> Which I think would even give Ernest J. King a little bit moment of pause. <laughs> so, but we'll, 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 we'll entertain them if they're uh, actually insistent upon this and so we have these valves here um after the last video strike they're going to come back so let's hit rtv here and uh so we still have like you know even if they lost the hornet there they have a pretty substantial cruiser group so let's go ahead and uh let's go ahead and barf out some more guys and um try and hit them again uh, just to drive the point home, uh, let's center valves this time. Well, no, actually the center cates this time. Uh, since 360 miles and yeah, down about here, it's early in the afternoon. Yeah, so we're going to get another carrier strike in here. We're going to pull back all these birds. And um, again, even if they have a convoy that's heading up here towards uh, Tulagi or Guadalcanal, we're going to go ahead and park our battleship group right about here and hope they can interdict anything that's coming up that way. And so that will give us um, really good staying power off Guadalcanal, which means basically any troops that they have in here, we can choke them off eventually because we do have... Uh, we have naval superiority without question at this point in time. And so we're just going to go ahead and use that. And then today's video might be a little bit of a mopping up uh, campaign. So let's uh, go ahead and get our birds back here. Let's go ahead and barf all these guys out again. Oh, no, nope, can't do it for another half an hour. So we'll give them half an hour. But we've got all these search planes that are going to come on back here. And uh, 1500, let's go ahead and, uh, it's a little late in the evening, but I still want to get a few guys out, so let's uh, see what Tona's got here. Now, there was an update that allows you to radiate planes out here, so let's try that while we're at it. So that's Tona, one. Let's, uh, let's get another one out, two here. I'm not quite sure exactly how this works, just quite yet, but we're going to try it. 
where you know okay that way and that way all right so and like i said i'm not quite sure exactly how they're doing this just quite yet but we're going to take we're going to we're going to take that into consideration and we're going to pull shokaku back uh, in the meantime, we still have our cage down here, uh, 79 nautical miles. Let's go ahead and, they, they didn't get too far away from us here, so let's do that. And then uh, push comes the shovel, kick them over to tactical and see how this goes. Yeah, no, they're coming back, so let's, uh, let's, let's jump in here and see, see if we can spot anything. So that's nine Kates. Let's go ahead and bunch everybody up. On, uh, Vic. Let's see if we can spot anything here. Before we uh, run out of gas. <laughs> Let's just see. Because it'd be great to actually get another strike in on these guys. Although, I'm pretty sure they're going to cheese it out of here. Since they have no more carrier cover. Uh, since we sank the USS Hornet there in the last video. Uh, let's go ahead and speed this up to see. And I'm not seeing anything just quite yet. So... Regardless, this is a pretty awesome formation right here. <laughs> so, yeah, come on, man. Get over there. <laughs> Form up. <laughs> here we go. A full flight of vowels. All right, these are Kates. Uh, but it doesn't seem as if there's anything down around here. So, which is fair enough. I mean, yeah. They got to cheese it out of here. And, uh, I, I, yeah, I think both sides would actually, like, take it pretty cool at this point in time. And, uh, so I'm not too surprised by this. So let's go ahead and get out of here. Um, there we go. Yep, get out of here. Donezo, head back home. And so it's pretty late in the evening. And so, uh, we'll, uh, we'll take that. So, meanwhile, we've got a, there's a kingfisher, found us there, we can, we can ignore him. Bring everybody home. So, 1731, let's uh, go ahead and pull these guys into Iron Bottom Sound here. Uh, so, this is our uh, battle cruiser division with uh, Haruna and the Haie along with uh, two heavy cruisers and uh, that gives us pretty good staying power so if anything did manage to sneak its way past us we'll we'll give them a rough time tonight oh what is this two destroyers yeah we're not gonna worry about that too much so and honestly with shokaku here we're just gonna keep her in station she still has a lot of vowels um, we do have $97 that we could play with, but I'm not going to send her all the way back up to Rabal just at this point in time. Um, because, you know, she's she's still in good shape. And so, like I said, this is just going to be a little bit of a mop-up video here. Just to see if the Americans bring anything back our ways. And so, with the new, like, search plane update, looks like these guys are just going to operate 24-7. Uh, so, we're just going to use the Tona here. To actually send these guys out. Yeah, well, they won't let me do it until 5 o'clock in the morning. But it looks like these guys are going to radiate out all night long. So I'm not quite sure what the devs were thinking with that. There we go. Look at that. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> so apparently the Americans decided to send a, a marching group into the middle of the maw of our... Uh, surface fleet here and so we're gonna let them do that <laughs> let's go ahead and beat up some ships here shall we so what do we got we got our entire battle line here um looks like they were 
right around in here somewhere so we're just gonna do line ahead and we're gonna turn our ships this way and let's see what we got um, I don't think we have any surface radar nope 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 no oh we do on the Haruna and probably the Haie as well yes there we go surface radar turn your radar on <laughs> Let's see what we got. Tona's got a radar as well. And then our uh, rear destroyers, not so much. So let's see what we can spot. And maybe, maybe, to put a little cherry on the top of this uh, series here, we'll get some uh, surface combat in. Let's just see. All right, so let's speed this up. See what we can find. Oh, actually, you know what? i got to be cool about this. This might be a submarine. <laughs> that did happen once before, so we're going to have to play it real cool here and just see what uh, what happens. So you got to watch for Tepetis. <laughs> just in case. But uh, I'm pretty sure this is that convoy. Um that's supposed to be in here and uh, of course it's a little bit later in the evening it's uh, almost 10 o'clock at night and so I don't think that this would be a uh, anything other than a surface combat unless there are torpedoes so let's just uh, well let's uh, get on the Mogami here and uh, wait and see. So we do have uh, two destroyers and one um, one light cruiser. So let's go ahead and turn on our sonars here, just in case. Kuma doesn't have a sonar. Mogami. And these guys have sonars. Nope. Just in case this is a submarine contact. If not, we have... Maybe, maybe modified surface combat here. It's just, we're just gonna have to wait and see what happens. I don't see any torpedoes. No, well, don't see any torpedoes. So let's just wait this one out and see, see what shows up here. Oh, there we go. There we go. There's our surface sighting right there. What do we got? We have got an American heavy cruiser. Yep, we got a convoy here, folks. So let's see. What do we got? We got one, two destroyers, one heavy cruiser. This is in New Orleans right here shooting at us. And one, two, three, four, five, six transports. Yes, we have ourselves a duck shoot here. And so here we go. Uh, Haruna. Target this. Let's go ahead and uh, ID you. F6. Let's see, this is going to be a CA uh, American. And this is definitely New Orleans class. Yep. So you are the major threat. Target you. Aruna. Let's do uh, AP full. Let's do spot fire. There you go. <laughs> Boom! Hi, EA. You get in on the action as well. Target. Spot. Fire. Here she goes. Oh, look at that. We got pretty close to us right there, but... <laughs> I'll trade 8-inch shells for 14-inch shells all day long and twice on Sunday. <laughs> Boom! Here you guys go. Here's some surface combat. Bonafide service combat. Ooh, someone up here got hit. Oh, yeah. Mogami. 
Yeah, go ahead and shoot back. Do it. Bar. There she goes. Yeah, no, look at that. They got range on her already. Oh, we'll teach you not to do that. And the Tona here has all, like, forward batteries. And so we're just going to blast this New Orleans-class cruiser into smithereens. And then we're just going to pull whatever we can after that. Let's see. Let's see if she can get all of them to line up. Nope, she can only get her forward two turrets to line up there. Well, gami has got a little fire. That New Orleans class cruiser got a lucky hit. It's okay, man. <laughs> you got 14 inch shells coming your way. <laughs> so here you guys go. A little bit of surface combat at the end of the uh, end of the series. Because if we can uh, if we can put this convoy on the bottom. And uh, I think this battle's just about done, so. But here we go. And of course, everybody we've got shooting at her. Gonna have to watch out for Torpedus. Um, I'm not too worried about American Torpedus just quite yet. But, uh, well, uh, how far are they? 8,000 yards? Yeah, let's go ahead and get all, all of our destroyers to open up on this one here. Target. What is this? What do we got here? This looks like a Benson. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and ID you. What are you? No, not a heavy cruiser. Nope. One stack. One stack. One stack. One stack, two, and... Da, 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 da. Nope, two and two. This is Summers right here. Yep. All right, here we go. Target Summers, main battery, fire. Kagero, target Summers, main battery, fire. Kuma, the, these ships, like uh, Japanese light cruisers, they're not that beefy, but they do have a lot of guns. And so check this out. I'm gonna watch her shoot here. There we go. <laughs> Let's go ahead and open up on that, Summers. Mogami, your uh, main battery is shooting at the uh, New Orleans. Yeah, there we go. So it looks like uh, the Haruna here has got all four of her main batteries. Same thing with the Haiye. So this is a very lucky ship in the uh, Japanese Navy. Well, at least they considered it very lucky. Um, she got pretty beat up in, uh, well, she sank in, uh, well, not in surface combat, but the next night. Uh, but, uh, this ship here was basically the Japanese, the IJN training ship. And look at that, we've already got, like, we've already got hits over here that are enough to register. Oh my goodness, look at this, we already... We already hit this ship pretty hard right here. <clears throat> Let's see which, uh, which one this one is. So well, the Haie was the uh, the basically oh boom. <laughs> this is probably 14 inch shells, man. Just nailing this ship right off the bat. Look at that. Look at the list that we got going on right here. So, but uh, she was the uh, the training ship for the IJN for many, many years before the war started. And so, like, virtually, oh, ooh. <laughs> So, oh, look at that. She's burning. Yeah, this is, like, this, this fleet is not going to be able to stand up to what we can actually need. The amount of iron we can throw into them. Look at this. So, and then uh, we got another destroyer over here. Let's go check you out. She is not showing up. Oh, uh, actually, she is down there. So let's get uh, Kurashio uh, and the uh, um, destroyer behind her to target this one. Let's see what we got here. Um, so we want you. Target you. 
Let's, uh, let's get a good fix on you. Two and two with uh, two. I think you're a porter. Let's see. No. Yes, definitely a porter. Two. Yes. All right. So here we go. All right. So I want you to attack her. Yep. And you target her main battery fire. So now we do have a little fire going here on the Mogami. But oh my goodness, look at this. We are going to wreck this New Orleans class cruiser. This destroyer here is already cooked. She might have launched Torpedus at us. Either that or she's so damaged she decided to turn back in. Alright, so let's take uh let's take you. Let's navigate our line this way. And we're just gonna have to watch for torpedoes here. But in the meantime, here's our battle line. Oh Mogami's got a pretty good hit on her. Let's see. Oh actually this is pretty superficial. Let's see. 47 seconds, 60 seconds, 102 seconds. Yeah, all right. These are the ones that are causing all the damage. <laughs> Your eardrum <drones> hurt <laughs> right off the bat. In this New Orleans here, just like no man. <laughs> too much damage, too fast. So. Yeah, these guys cannot hold up to us, and so, and then there's the convoy over here, and we are just gonna maul this convoy once, uh, once we beat all these guys off. There looks like torpedoes heading our way, but we're just gonna have to wait and see. I don't see any torpedoes yet. They'd be coming this way, so right around here, we gotta watch out for that. So, but all my guys are in line ahead. And so we're just going to let them do their thing. Oh, yeah. You can get some uh, dreadnought action in here. Well, I don't think I'm going to be able to catch these guys. <laughs> On a... Uh, not a screenshot here, but let's see. <laughs> nope. <laughs> let's try it one more time. <laughs> come on, come on. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> We're not gonna mess with it too much. So just because I want to make sure that we don't get hit by torpedoes. Uh, here, let's see. Yeah, this Summers is donezo. This New Orleans isn't looking too hot either. Yeah. Which way is she shooting? She's not even shooting at us. Anymore. There you go. Here's your here here here's your money shot. <laughs> All right. So let's see. She's gonna turn away. Uh. She's going right into the convoy there. This is summer. This porter's taking a couple hits up here. And she is leading the convoy. Oh, I just heard a torpedo hit. We got hit. Haruna got struck by a torpedo. Just gonna shrug that off, huh? 
<laughs> yeah, look at that. Three torpedoes. She's just going to shrug one of those right off. It is like, yeah, no worries. <laughs> uh, I, I thought they might hit us with torpedoes. But, again, not too terribly worried about that with only one destroyer. So let's uh, peel in on these guys here. Let's see if we can get Haruna here. And uh, some of these other guys start shooting uh, secondary batteries at, uh, what do we got here? This is a transport. So let's, uh, let's ID you. Here, this is definitely a merchant ship. Type C3. Right there. This one's also a Type C3. Right here. Alright, so Haruna, let's uh, get your secondary battery. Target this. Stop that. Target you. Fire. There they go. So secondary batteries are firing C3. Primary batteries firing the New Orleans. And hi. Let's do the same thing. Stop. Target. Actually fire at that second one. There we go. Type C3. There we go. I think that's how this works. I think if you uh, have your main battery target this one, that's on main director, alt, should be the second. And so C3 on her. And then main over here. There it is. Maybe. If not, I think this New Orleans is screwed up enough where we're not too worried about it anymore. So, Tona, still firing at the New Orleans. We're going to want to change that here. Same thing with the uh, these two destroyers. They're both firing at this porter out here. Let's go check her out. Yeah, she's taking a few hits. So, we're going to just peel our entire line around here. Let's uh, check for torpedoes real quick. I don't see any torpedoes. No, I think we're good. I don't know what that was. Might have been splashed from the uh, main battery there. But the Haruna took a torpedo. Yeah, I'm not worried about this. This like <laughs> that's in the meaty part of the battleship. <laughs> not gonna worry about that too much. She's listening a little bit, but not too bad. Yeah, she'll be just fine. She'll be just fine. And so here we go. Oh, no. Probably not fast enough on that. <laughs> Let's try you, hi <laughs> Oh, maybe. <laughs> and this is just... Shooting ducks in a barrel, folks. <laughs> Shooting ducks in a barrel. <laughs> or fish in a barrel. So, let's see what we got going on here. See how that New Orleans is doing. This New Orleans is cooked. Oh, yeah. Bad shape, bad shape. Her main battery's out. So, this is her right here. Her main battery's pointed that way. So we've already knocked out these turrets, and uh, yeah, yeah, she's done. She is done. Uh, let's actually uh, peel off some of the main fire here. Mogami, let's uh, go ahead and stop. Stop shooting at the New Orleans, and uh, pick up one of these transports. Pick up that one, right there. Fire on the transport spot. Arrow or full. <laughs> let's get one or two of these done. So, 
the New Orleans burning pretty good. And this this destroyer is done. Uh, Summers, yeah, go ahead and finish her off. It won't be that long. Yeah, burn it midships aft. <laughs> And we've taken what one torpedo? Someone was burning. I think it was uh, the Kuma, or no, it was the Mogami who was burning. And they got that all fixed. Everything's uh, ship shape here. And she's still shooting at uh, C3 right there. And uh, Haruna here shooting at New Orleans. Actually, no, she's still showing, shooting at, shooting at the C3. I think the New Orleans is about done, though. Oh, actually, someone's still shooting at her. I'm going to give you a Haie. Type C3, New Orleans. Let's go ahead and stop, stop. And I want you to explicitly target the New Orleans while you're coming up here. Let's go ahead and do that. And our solution here is pretty low, but our range is really low too. So I'm not too worried about this. So this ship is uh, in pretty bad shape. Mogami here, she at the transport. Haruna, let's uh, go ahead and get you to actually polish off that New Orleans as well. So let's uh, target the New Orleans, fire. Yeah, let's get everything shooting at that New Orleans. There we go. <laughs> C3, we've already hit this one right here. I think there were six of these though. Don't know where the other ones are. Oh, they're right here. Following behind us, New Orleans. There's another hit on New Orleans right there. And another. <laughs> So a little bit of surface combat here on the 17th of August, 1942, and uh, it's going really well in our favor. And summer's here. This ship is cooked. Just got to get some hits on these guys. Let's uh, check out my destroyers here. Shooting at the porter, which we cannot see anymore. So let's uh, go ahead and stop that. Let's target these guys here. Fire. You. Same thing. Stop. Porter. Target the C3. Fire. We're just going to swing back around them. Um, technically, they're headed up this way, but we're going to be able to get them. We've got their... Uh, well, the other four transports are going to be bunched up in here. And so that'll be like shooting fish in a barrel. Let's uh, go ahead and take these guys here. Let's have them target these transports here. Uh, what is this? This is a merchant ship, type C3. What's going on here? There we go. Let's get our destroyers on these guys. Now let's see, you're in the lead? Yeah, take on this guy. Attack him. Stop. Stop. Target. No, not a kick arrow. Come on. I don't know why I did that. Oh, stop that. Hmm. What's going on here?
There we go. Man, what's going on with this? Something singing. New Orleans is going down. That frees up a lot of our major firepower. Just gotta get these guys like correctly identified here. Hang on just a sec. There we go. Summers, New Orleans, Type C3, Type C3. Alright, so you fire that one. You firing that one. Kuma, target, you. Stop that. Target, you fire. And let's get the mug on me here. Uh, stop, stop. Kill off that Summers. Fire. Same thing with your secondary battery. Fire. Haruna. Uh, let's just uh, turn this into a duck shoot, shall we? And uh, Haruna. Target that C3. Fire. Aie. Stop, stop. Cease fire. Target this C3. Fire. And we know the rest of them are around here somewhere. So let's uh, take our lead ship and head south. But meanwhile, this is one New Orleans class cruiser that's in the bank, as far as we're concerned. And then uh, they still have this C3 up here. She's burning pretty good. She's going to be done. So this one here looks okay. But we just can't see her right now. Thanks to uh, radar, or lack thereof. Well, we'll just cut them off, and then we'll head back around. We're going to get them all. We're going to get them all, folks. It's that simple. So, here's a New Orleans-class cruiser going down. Pretty slowly by the stern. Something else is sinking. Summers is done. So, uh, who was shooting at that? C3, 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 no target. Well, let's fix that. <laughs> Main battery, target C3, fire. There she goes. And let's go ahead and knock that, that, uh, that transport out. But just look at this line of Japanese iron right here. I mean... <laughs> We're good. <laughs> Not too worried about nothing. So, just gonna get as many ships as we can here. Uh, and these, the Japanese ships, they have really deep magazines. So, although they're shooting uh, AP right now, let's uh, should probably switch that to high explosive. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. I don't think it matters on the destroyers. High explosive. High explosive. Kuma. High explosive. Yeah, she's good. Mogami. High explosive. Haruna. High explosive. Uh, AP 132, 138. Yeah, we can keep we can keep shooting those. 132? Yeah. Tona's got no target right now. Uh, you know, she's in good position to shoot at either one of these guys. Let's go ahead and uh, ring her up here. Fire at that ship. There we go. She's got 248. 248, yeah, she's good. We want to use her as much as possible. She's out of AP. So she's already on HE. That's good. HE is high explosive. Um, which is better against you know some of these softer targets here. They're not going to take too many shells. There goes that New Orleans. Dunzo. 
And these are our ships right here. They're that close. <laughs> Let's uh, go ahead and ring up the uh, the secondaries here. Fire, HE. Aruna. Fire, your HEs. Yeah, oh, she already is. Cool. Yep, she already is. Tona. Uh, yeah, go ahead and fire your secondaries as well. Because they got a lot of shells. Look at that, 888 shells. Yeah. We might just uh, switch to that, actually. And so, our main battle line here, we're just going to zoom around this way. And we're going to get all the, get. we're going to, we're going to bag all the things. And I mean all the things. So... So we got ourselves a heavy cruiser and a destroyer already. There's another destroyer way out here somewhere, but we don't really care. In fact, let's uh, use you to pour on a little bit of gas. Now, 23 knots, that's fine. We're good. <laughs> so, <laughs> textbook <laughs> surface attack. Mm. So yeah, you take out the heavies and then you, you pick off all the stragglers. <laughs> That's the way this works. Um, and traditionally the Japanese were really tough in uh, surface combat at night. Oh, oh, look at this. I think I have like AI collisions off. <laughs> Doesn't matter. <laughs> You're still colliding with my shells. <laughs> oh yeah, these guys are done. These guys are done though. Yeah. Alright, so save your ammo, boys. Let's uh uh hold fire. Hold fire. Hold fire. You guys for sure. Hold fire. Secondary. Oh, actually, secondaries are fine on ammo, so you guys can keep pumping them with uh, secondary ammo. Hold fire on main. Secondary. Oh, 1200, 1300? Pfft, yeah. <laughs> main batteries, though. Hold fire. Secondary batteries. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. You've got so much ammo, you might as well spend it. So, you guys here... Yeah, hold fire. Secondaries. 888. Yeah, you guys can shoot. Nothing here. Type C3. Let's see. 160. Yeah, hold fire. Two ten, yeah. Hold fire. <coughs> All right. Yeah, these guys are cooked. Just wait and see. So that's two transports, a destroyer, and a heavy cruiser. We'll just let the secondary shoot at these guys and just take pot shots at them. <laughs> But really, when it comes down to it, the Americans, I mean, they're going to lose Guadalcanal. I mean, it'll, it'll take us a month or so to actually push them off. But they have no hope of regaining naval superiority, especially with Shokaku spooking around out there to the west or to the east. And uh, really, when it comes down to it... Um, I bet you Ernie King's going to lose his job over this call. <laughs> Semper Aratus. <laughs> but, yeah. <laughs> Even then, you're going to lose your gig. So, if you uh, keep feeding uh, USMC into the uh, the machine here, the Japanese war machine, which is uh, just hell-bent on, uh, you know, controlling the seas around Guadalcanal. Um... 
So, but we still have a few more transports spooking around around here, and so we're gonna we're gonna wait for these guys to sink, head out that way, and I think there's two or three more, maybe four more out there. We're just gonna find them. So, in fact, we could use these guys here to go spot. So let's do that. You guys, go this way. Go spot those guys. Yep, there's one transport. Dunzo. Uh, you. What's your uh, what's your orders? Information with Tona. Um, no. Let's uh, target you. Warm up. Target you. Follow. There we go. Follow her. Don't shoot her. Nope. Stop that. Stop that. And so. Kuroshio. Yeah. Alright. So. I'm going to send these two destroyers out there to spot for us. See if they can find these guys. Let's uh, go ahead and pour on the gas here with these guys. Let's do 26 knots, bring up some speed, go ahead and them all off because we know that they are around here somewhere. But all of these ships here, including this guy, this guy's cooked. He's donezo. Are we still shooting at him? No target. Yeah, you're still shooting at him. Okay. How many how many bullets you got? Oh, you're on hold fire. Okay. Kuma, how about you? Oh, you got a lot of you got a lot of ammo. Go ahead and shoot. <laughs> Get some target practice in, boys. <laughs> or not. There we go. He's like <laughs> He's right there. <laughs> I mean we could use Terpetus, but Nah. <laughs> Just take some pot shots. It's cool. Look at me. Uh, how about your uh, secondaries? Yeah, go ahead and uh, cease fire. Stop, stop. Aruna. Yeah, stop, stop. All right. Aie. Stop, stop. All right. Tona. Stop. All right, we're good. Let those guys cruise around. And you here. Yeah, head that way. This guy's cooked. He's gonna fly. He's gonna fly. <laughs> you better sing soon, man. Otherwise, you're gonna mess up our line. <laughs> so, let's see. There we go. So, come on, Kuma. Do your job. Do your job. What? Miss? Oh, okay. There you go. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I think it'll be all right. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. But, oh my gosh, man, you could not miss this ship. <laughs> I mean, they could work to miss this ship. <laughs> nope, nope, not going to miss. <laughs> Let's just watch the fun, shall we? Bang. Hit. Bang. Hit. <laughs> so, bang. And hit. <laughs> All right, nobody's fired. <laughs> we'll just take what we can get. So, but yeah, I don't even... 
I don't think this ship's going to be moving much longer. I mean, her screws are still spinning. But she can't take that much more. She cannot take that much more. And here's our lead destroyer peeling around her this way. And so this poor ship right here. I mean, we're just going to parade right past her. Hey, hey, USMC, how you doing? Yeah, yeah, Guadalcanal is right over there, but, you know, I know you guys were heading to Vloggy, which is up there. Not going to make it. <laughs> so, but fundamentally, uh, we do have to find those other guys. And so that's what these guys are supposed to be doing here. So let's see. Uh, let's check out speed on you. 26? Yeah, okay, alright, she's done. She's going down. Going down. Via the hands of the IJN. Right there. Man, that is way too close for comfort. They would never let us get that close. IRL, no way, no way. So, but then again, we did cut them off. So, their escape route would be to the east, which is the way they were heading. But um, again, you got a whole bunch of Marines right here. Well, hopefully, this is supplies, not you know, 2,000 Marines or 1,250 Marines who suddenly have no home um, because they are literally surrounded by the IJN <laughs> this is not the kind of Alamo you want to fight folks <laughs> yeah mm. Mm. But then again, hopefully it supplies. So there's a whole bunch of shit tickets on the bottom of Iron Bonnet Sound. <laughs> and the IGAN steams on without a um, single apology offered. So, but we do need to find those other ones. So that's two down. I think there were six. Or maybe there were five? I don't know. Uh, but we got, uh, let's see. We got one destroyer and one, two, well, two transports and one heavy cruiser. Um, so, yeah, I think the other guys probably cheese it out this way. So, let's uh, get these destroyers up and running here. Try and head those guys off, or at least spot them. Because, of course, we've got the uh, Haruna and the Haie, uh, whose main battery range is like ridiculous. And if we can just light them up with a few star shells, we're in good shape. So let's see. Let's see what we got here. Um, there we go. 21,000 yards. Or 38,000 yards, sorry. <laughs> Which is like... <laughs> over here. <laughs> So I think we can reach him <laughs> as long as we can spot them as long as we can spot them We'll be okay. So we're just gonna have to give it a few minutes here and see what happens So but here you go folks. Here's our first bona fide surface fight and um, You know the Guadalcanal campaign did involve several nasty gnarly surface fights and uh, As you saw with the amount of wreckage we were able to rain down on this cruiser right here the New Orleans um, who's, yeah, down there somewhere. <laughs> so, being in a surface fight was not a fun gig at all, because most of the time it really was, like, you know, very one-sided. You know, the whole Jutland thing where it's like, oh, okay, we're going to trade barbs from, you know, 15,000 yards. Um, not so true in Guadalcanal. In Guadalcanal it was, like, really kind of in your face. Uh, surface combat and surface combat is uniquely horrifying and if you read a few of the uh, few of the actual um, books that were written by guys who survived it 
there is nothing fun about it at all. I mean, it is terrifying, and that was true of all the Guadalcanal surface fights. Um, particularly the first two or three, yeah. Well, actually, even later, the Tassafaranga fight was horrifying for the Americans. Um, and so, you know, it's understandable later in the war where the Americans are a little bit gun-shy about doing this stuff, even after the second battle of Savo Island where the USS Washington roasted the Kirishima. Uh, but the South Dakota got pretty beat up in that fight, too. Um, just, it, it's, it's, it's so fast and it's so intense. And if you read some of the books about what actually is going on and if what it's like to be on one of those ships... They're, they're like they're like civil war level of gory you know it's just it's 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 a terrible way to fight <laughs> not that carrier combat is any better but at least when the planes leave it's over you know kind of thing <laughs> These surface fights that happened here off Savo Island which is exactly what we got going on today um, you know they they might sail off you you don't know you you really don't know until uh, until the shooting stops and the sun comes up and you can look around and okay the enemy's gone. Um, oh, and look at that! We got a spotting right there. There we go. All right, all right. Let's see. We've got the uh, the Haruna and the Haie who can definitely hit you. So let's go ahead and do that. Target you. Main battery. Target you. Fire. C3. Here we go. I'm gonna spin the turrets around. And boom. Look at the look at the shockwave. That's great. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Alright, Haie, you're up. Or Haie. I don't know. I I yeah. Someone who speaks Japanese can correct me on that one. But uh I've heard it both ways in uh, audio books, so let me know if I'm wrong. <laughs> but this ship was considered a very lucky ship in the Japanese Navy. Uh, it was kind of like the HMAS or HMS Hood, as far as the Japanese were concerned. Uh, there's a there's there's a couple really interesting accounts of of folks even pre-war who spent some time on her, and she was actually like saved. Uh, she was due to be scrapped after the uh, after the uh, the naval agreements, um, but the Japanese decided to turn in a training ship, which is why most of the members of the Imperial family spent a little bit of time on this ship at one time or another, which is not dissimilar to the Hood. Um, but here we go. This poor lonely transport, and it looks like there's a couple more like spooking out way out here. Someone up here is burning. Let's go check that out. Who is this way up here? Oh, I can't click on them. Uh, let's try. Looks like we got two transports here. This one though is the one that we see. That's this guy right here. <laughs> Sorry, man. You're not going to make it, man. <laughs> All right, Mogami. Get in on the fight as well. Target this guy. Fire. Off we go. Boom! Looks like two of those three turrets. This one, not quite. So, not quite. You know, that one should be able to hit. Or maybe it's this one. Yeah, these two look uh, like they're shooting there. That's okay. And you guys here? Yeah, why don't you... Uh, how many bullets do you guys have? Oh, you guys got a few. So, yeah, let's, let's go ahead and use you guys as well. Fire. Target you and fire. There we go.
Well, she have turrets. Not quite. Not quite. That's okay. And there's one more way out there. So, so we might have to chase that one down too. But you are not looking too good there, my friend. So, whiff. <laughs> I think that was from the, one of the destroyers. Here we go. He just fired. Let's see what happens. So, uh, 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 uh. Oh, there you go. Good job. Yeah, you got a hit right there. There we go. <laughs> oh my gosh, it'd be horrible to be on a transport when you're getting chased down by, like, you know, this big of a contingent of the IJN right here. It'd just be, like, absolutely terrifying. And what kind of speed are we making? We're making 23 knots as a line. And so the entire battle line is going to come around here, go around this way, and we're going to just chase down these transports one by one and call it a night. Because uh, really, fundamentally, uh, we're not spending that much ammo here. I mean, yeah, we are a little bit, but, you know... None of this is really going to take that much. In fact, she's burning so hard. We, we, we need to stop spending ammo on this. So let's just go ahead and... Well, actually, you guys... Who is this? Yeah, you, you go ahead and hold fire. Stop that. You're not shooting. Kuma, you're not shooting. Mogami... Yeah, stop that. Hold fire. Aruna. Yeah, you definitely need to stop firing. Wow. AP 96, 96, 96, 206, 206. Yeah, we definitely want to stop shooting with our battleships here. Uh, we can definitely shoot with our secondary guns. I don't know if they can reach, but yeah, sure. Let's find out. What are you going to do? Are you guys going to shoot? Yeah, okay. Yeah, alright, go ahead. <laughs> I don't have a problem. How about you? Oh, yeah, okay. So a couple of them will shoot. That's fine. But uh, main batteries, let's uh, stop that. Tona's got a lot of uh, main main magazine left. Uh, yeah, you guys got a little bit, but you know what? Stop that. Let's just uh, hold fire. Because I, yeah, this, this ship's cooked. This ship's absolutely cooked. We don't need to worry about it. In fact, let's get a really, really judicious here on our uh, use of any ammunition <laughs> yeah we're just gonna let her burn call it good so yeah because this ship is cooked I don't even think she's moving uh, let's see uh, I get a little spinny spinny left but look at that look at the fire and this ship way out here which I cannot click on nope has still got a fire Looks like there's one out there and another one right there. So that would put her way out here somewhere. Let's uh, use these two guys to run them down, shall we? Have yeah, out this way. Regardless of this, we have got them cut off from hitting Tulagi. We're basically making them run out this side of the slot right here. Um, and I can't believe that this ship is going that fast where we can't actually catch her. But we will. <laughs> we will. And that's kind of the point. So this, uh, this transport here is cooked. So, and even if she's not, all right, if they get these fires out, as soon as we get broadside to her, we'll just light her up with our secondary weapons. And she won't be able to 
Yeah, it's not going to do nothing. So, but I don't think I can speed this up. Oh, I can speed this up. Let's speed this up. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> we just have to wait until we spot something way out there. Way out yonder. These guys are way out there. Which we're going to chase them down too. Um, yeah, we're going to chase them down too as well. Uh, uh, go on, get out of here. You know, you got no business in Iron Bottom Sound. This belongs to us. <laughs> as, uh, as everybody parades around this poor ship here, which is just going to burn down to the keel and uh, explode. <laughs> oh, there we go. So we got this one here. Oh my goodness, this guy is way out there. So yeah. Huh. All right. So uh, we're just going to have to continue this chase here. So this one here is done. All right. Porter is sinking. Oh, that's probably this guy way out there is sinking. So the only one that's left is this lone transport right here so it looks like we got this porter class destroyer way out here and so this lone transport here is the only thing that is left from this convoy all right so um <laughs> i'm tempted to let her go and maybe let shokaku actually like polish that off tomorrow regardless of that they're gonna jet out of here um, because oh there goes the other C3 right there and so we just sank ourselves basically an entire Japanese convoy or I mean uh, sorry an entire American convoy here in Iron Bottom Sound let's go ahead and get out of here and uh, we'll see what this guy does um, uh, tomorrow but it looks like we got one two three uh, transports out of four or you sunk a New Orleans class cruiser in both rear escorts so there's just one lone transport. Um, we're going to be a little bit merciful here and let that guy go <laughs> for the night. <laughs> but regardless of that, following the last video, um, this series is just about flipped over. We're going to have to see exactly what the Americans have in mind. Uh, we'll spook around a little bit and see if they actually like barf out another you know, major task force coming our way. But I don't think so. And really, when it comes down to it, I think that like this might turn into just a little bit of a war of attrition. And uh, that might not be for great videos, but we're going to try at least one more after this just to see exactly what the AI decides to do. But regardless of that, um, the IJN here, we have clearly, clearly demonstrated our dominance on um, the uh, South Solomon Sea. Um, and uh, I don't know exactly what the Americans have left to throw at us other than, you know, maybe a couple cruiser groups or something like that. But we've got a battleship group stationed in Iron Bottom Sound. We've got uh, Shokaku right over here. We've got more than enough money to send Shokaku back and grab Zuikaku. But um, in the meantime, I don't think the Americans can do that much to us at this point in time. Um, it will take a little bit of time to build up some troop strength so that we can take these back. But the Americans are not going to take them from us. And so that, that really changes the, uh, the math here in the uh, South Pacific for the Allies. And so with that being said, uh, thanks again for being here with me tonight. I, you know, it was fun and <laughs> not quite as exciting in the last video, but I'm glad we got some surface comment in before I decided to pull the pin on the series here. But regardless of that, um, we'll be up for at least one more, and I hope to see you there. Take care now. Bye. Mm -hmm.